To understand this block of code, let's take a look at the class diagram. Here we have a representation of our project. We have the package. Inside it, we have the main class called handling inputs. And inside the main class is our main method. The main class alone doesn't have the capability to accept user inputs. Luckily for us, every Java project comes with the Java Development Kit or the JDK. The Java Development Kit or JDK contains pre-written classes that can perform different tasks. One of these classes is Scanner, which resides in the java.util package. A class contains methods. In a nutshell, methods are actions that a class can perform. For example, if we have a class called car, its methods can be open door, close door, start engine, accelerate, steer and stop. Method names are written in camel casing and is followed by a pair of parentheses. The purpose of the parentheses will be discussed in a separate lesson about methods. The scanner class has several methods. Using the next line method, it can accept keyboard inputs and store them as strings. Using the next int method, it can accept whole number inputs. There are other methods for accepting other data types. At the moment, our main class is in no way connected to scanner. For us to have access to its methods, we need to establish a relationship between them. We do this inside the main method of the main class. The first set of keywords will refer to the package and name of the class. Then let's assign a name. The name could be anything, but in this program, I'm going to call it SC. Equal symbol, keyword new, and then the constructor method. The constructor method is a method that contains instructions on how a class will be created or constructed. Constructor methods have the same name as its class. The scanner class has a scanner constructor method. Inside the parentheses of the scanner method, we supply the keywords system.in, semicolon to complete a statement. The statement that we just wrote is called an instantiation statement. We created an object, aka instance, of the scanner class and gave it a name SC. SC is a scanner instance. You'll often hear the terms object and instance. Don't get confused because they are the same thing. Now we have an object that has access to the scanner methods. In the next line, we're going to create a string variable. We want this variable to hold the values coming from the user input. We'll call it msg equals symbol name of the scanner instance sc dot then the method we want to use you'll notice that net means will suggest all available methods for now we're interested with the next line method because this method will capture string inputs in the next line we output the value of msg build and run input some text press enter and our program will simply return the same text. The last thing I want to talk about is shortening our instantiation statement. Let's delete java.util on both class and constructor method. It will be marked incorrect. Our program will not be able to find the scanner class because it doesn't exist in the handling inputs package. Let's go back at the beginning of our program right below the package definition. We'll write import, then the name of the package, that we want to import java.util then the name of the class scanner semicolon to terminate this will not change the output but it will make our code more concise now every time we want to reference scanner we no longer have to specify its package because it's already imported right at the beginning of our program in the next video we'll explore the other scanner methods thank you and i'll see you on the next lesson